Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Today I'm going to do one of my famous uh, coffee reviews. It's going to be on a Meyer brand, Meyer. It's a um, grocery store headquartered out of Michigan. They're around the country, they're here where I live. And it is 100% um, Arabica beans. It's a flavored coffee, it's butterscotch toffee. Now, if you notice, it's a light roast. Probably did that so <clears throat> there'd be minimum impact of the flavors that come out when you roast on the flavors that they add. This is empty, okay, this is all gone. So my last bit, I want to finally get a review on it. I've been drinking, I enjoy it, I liked it. Uh, this has a wonderful smell, have <clears throat> a wonderful smell of butterscotch, toffee, and chocolatey smell to it. Uh, so the smell is very pleasant. Like I said, it's gone. And I said before I've been saving off on drinking this last bit if I had time to shoot a video. So here I am shooting it. Uh, I've done a few of their uh, flavored coffees and uh, some are better than others, of course. Uh, one I really like of Myers, and I have a big bag in there, the whole beans I've been grinding, is their cherry, their Michigan cherry. Very good, I'm gonna do a review. I did a review on their uh, decaf, but now I have the regular. <clears throat> so <clears throat> today I made it, uh, how I usually make it, in my um, French press. So I'm just going to press this down. This will trap the grounds, all right, on the bottom. All right, if you've never used one, they're so easy. You just put your coffee in there and um, heat up your water. Pour your water over the coffee grounds. Give it a stir, don't give it a stir, and don't touch it. Leave for two or three minutes, plunge it down, pour it out. Best coffee you'll ever have. Um, so, let's go ahead and uh, pour it. Can you hear it? Love the sound of it. You know what, and coffee, like a lot of things, um, like tea for example, even wine, even whiskey, everything, really, if you want to get into it, <clears throat> is a ritual. It's a ritual of buying it, possibly grinding it yourself, if that's the way you like to do it, uh, heating up the water, pouring it in, whatever method you use to make it, <clears throat> putting it in your favorite cup, sitting down and relaxing and drinking. Now, do I always drink coffee that way? No, I drink it at work constantly, and a lot of times I'll just use a cure cup. It's fast, it's easy, it's convenient, and I'm putting it in my metal cup to kind of keep it hot for a while, or any cup I have laying around, and, uh, you know, kind of swashing it down. But when you can relax and drink it on a day like today, there is nothing, and I mean nothing, better. So. I told you how it smelled out of the bag. Very strong aroma of that butterscotch, that toffee, that chocolate. Now, we'll smell it. You know, I've had the whole bag, so I kind of know what's coming. All those flavors uh, that were in the bag are coming out of the cup, are coming out of this brew. Uh, so now you're getting a, a beautiful smell. And you know, when you make this, in the, in the, wherever you make it, you're gonna smell that too, people that walk in the room, and it's very pleasing. So. Now, here's the good part. Well, I didn't smell a lot of coffee in the bag or anything. I don't want something to overpower the taste of the coffee, because I happen to love coffee. So the smell did. I didn't smell much coffee. I smelled what I told you, and even after I brewed it, it was to a lesser degree, but still the coffee couldn't get that smell too much. But here's the good news. When I taste it, I get the coffee forward followed by their tastes, and that is what I'm looking for. I guess it had to be so strong in the smell to come out in the taste, <clears throat> but it doesn't overpower it. So you're getting the coffee, and then you can pick out those flavors. And that's what I like. I don't like it to be overpowered by the flavors. Now, so there it is, and that's why this bag's gone. Um, you know what I like to do? And when you have these flavored coffees, a lot of times 
ones that are kind of made after candies or cakes or things. Obviously sugar or artificial flavor of some sort, you know, uh, stevia, whatever, whatever you use, enhances that and makes it taste more like the product, okay? Because otherwise you're tasting something that's supposed to be a cake or candy without the sugar. And you can get the flavors out of there, especially if you've trained your palate to pick out the flavor. But you've got to work on it. You've got to use a little imagination because there's no sugar. It's like having a cake with no sugar, candy with no sugar. It's not going to taste the same. So um, these call for, a lot of times, honey, sugar, or something like that. Now, I use, as everybody knows, heavy whipping cream because I love the mouthfeel and the flavor that it gives. Now, this is, um, so far, this coffee is 100% carb-free, keto, the whole nine yards. Um, let me get this here, stir. Uh, but the coffee, the creamer adds a little sugar, lactose sugar. I mean, it says no sugar in here, but, you know, I'm getting, I'm picking up the sweetness of it. A little, I don't need hardly a lot of sugar, so I can pick it out uh, pretty easily. <clears throat> and it gives a little vanilla flair to it. It just enhances uh, coffee so much. The fat brings out the flavor. See, a lot of times it'll take down the acid. And it makes a delicious cup. Now, another thing you can do on coffees like this especially, you can do it on any coffee. There are a lot of health benefits in this type of chocolate. This is um, dark chocolate cacao, 100% uh, cocoa, um, okay, uh, no saturated fats, no sugar, no sodium, full of bioflavonoids, full of things that are good for you, but full of flavor. Now, by itself, okay, this chocolate, it's 100%, it's a little bitter, and it's not sweet. A lot of people don't like it, but I've developed a heck of a taste for that chocolate. Mm. So, I think you know it's a powder. So I'm going to just add, you know, a little bit of this powder into my coffee. Now, a lot of times what I'll do, if I'm adding um, chocolate like that, I will put a little bit of cream in while the coffee's being made, and I'll put the powder in and stir it, just with a stir like this, stir it, stir it and it'll eventually thicken up and just totally bind with the cream. And then I pour the coffee over it and stir it while I'm pouring it, and it's a perfect, there's no flakes, there's no nothing. Or, you know, little powder that didn't get dissolved, none of that, if you do it that way. Um, very simple, very simple. So I'm stirring this in here, the chocolate. Now, if you want it more, if you have a little bit of a sweet tooth or something like that, nothing wrong with putting in a little bit of Hershey's, all right? Hershey's chocolate, genuine chocolate flavor. Um, what is the, um, I wonder how much chocolate is actually in here percentage wise. It's not gonna be high. Um, but you're getting the chocolate flavor and you're getting um, some sweetness. Which, on a coffee like this, like I said, the sweetness isn't a bad thing. It actually uh, does enhance things. So, anytime you wanna um, add a little bit of this for the health benefits and the flavor, and you can also use your, your cream, whatever you use to um, sweeten things. Or you can pour a little of this baby in there, and you're gonna get the chocolate and the sugar at the same time. All right, and how much sugar is in here? Uh, okay, um, ah, who knows? All right, so here it is now with the chocolate added. And see, now, now, I have a perfect uh, cup of coffee. I got this butterscotch toffee, uh, beautiful butterscotch toffee. And I've added uh, my beautiful whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. And I've added my 100% uh, cocoa or cacao, uh, baking chocolate. It's still keto if that's important to you. Uh, the important thing is, though, it's good for you. This may not be, depending on who you are, I don't have any health issues to where I can't drink heavy whipping cream. Um, if your doctor told you, it's all fat. Um, you know, so. But you don't have to use the whipping cream. You can use skim milk. Uh, at least put 2% in there. you got to have some flavor, folks. Right? A little bit. 
Uh, but this is good. There's nobody can't have this. And, uh, you know, if sugar's not an issue with you, it's not an issue with me. I don't have any uh, diabetes or anything. Matter of fact, I was tested not too long ago. Um, one of my routine physicals. <clears throat> and my blood sugar was fine. Uh, but the reason it's fine is because I, <laughs> I don't really use it. But I could if I wanted to. I do sometimes. Uh, I just don't like sweet things. Okay, I like bitter, salty, then sweet, and then sour if I had to rate the, the tastes. So um, I'd rather have something bitter, like a beer, a cup of coffee, um, than something sweet. And I, you know, I do like salty stuff. So, all right. That's it. I beat this horse. It's, it's a good cup. It's a, it makes a nice coffee. You find this at Myers. It's not expensive. It's at the grocery store. Um, nice treat for you. And you doctor it up a little bit, you'll get the full intention of what, what they wanted out of this. Some, so, from Hillbilly Select Reviews. You know I gotta ask you one thing, right? I always gotta ask you. Um, please, please subscribe. Okay, I'm getting my subscribers up there now. And uh, I wanna keep growing. It's important to me. It's just important to me. Um, so subscribe, you're already watching. That's all I ask. That's it. I'll do the rest. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody. Thank you.